Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another training video for Brandon. inside our Friender beta program then you could have access to this members area which is available to all our Friender beta users and you will see this training video inside this membership area. So we have went live with few feature release so I wanted to go over what is that feature, how can you use that feature and how it can benefit you. If you don't know what Friender is or if you're not using Friender yet so obviously definitely you should be you should start using it. So far Friender can actually help you to increase your engagement boost your engagement and reach by giving you the ability to remove all your inactive friends on Facebook uh, you can already do that and I have went over how can you delete or remove all your inactive friends on Facebook so that you have an active list on your Facebook and I have, I have also went over the feature of how can you get more leads how can you add more leads add more prospect on your Facebook on automation and save free up you so that you can free up your time and you are not spending hours after hours on getting leads on Facebook finding all those targeted uh, customers for your business so I have went over that as well how can you leverage Facebook for your business and how can you leverage Friender to help you save time and also make money on Facebook and you can also start adding new leads that you are removing inactive friends and you are freeing up you are getting more space on your friend list and you are also adding more people to your list you can perform both of the action using Friender okay so if you are using Facebook for your business and you are doing your prospecting, you are reaching out to more people, you are growing your network, you are adding more people, you are adding more targeted leads on your Facebook. If you are using Friender to get more lead, hyper targeted leads for your business, then those people would end up on this list okay in this pending list because they are pending you are sending friend requests so they will be in pending unless and until they accept your friend request or they reject your friend request and they don't accept your friend request so they would obviously not be here in this list and if they do accept your friend request then they will show up here when you do the thing this was already there recently we have went live with this feature which is basically delete pending friend request automatically or delete all pending friend request right now okay so why you should be deleting all your pending friend requests because again if you are using Facebook and you want to maximize the output on your Facebook organic marketing and friender is all about helping you making money with the organic marketing if you are using Facebook for your business and you are sending friend requests to people you are adding more people into your list and you are building connections with them you are sending messages you are doing all that so when you are sending friend you should not have so many people in your pending request okay because when you have more than 100 I'm not gonna say like a perfect number or oh, you should not have more than 100 because if I don't work at Facebook so but I can say you this that if you have more than 100 pending requests when I say pending I mean people who hasn't accepted your friend request and they have been in that pending list for some time Facebook starts to obviously notice that right they obviously have all that data but when you start sending more friend requests and start adding more people to your list Facebook starts to assume that you might be a spammer they might start sending you those notifications that hey do you know this person make sure you know this person before you send friend request or Facebook can just stop you from sending friend requests because Facebook sees that hey this guy has has been sending friend requests to people but people are not accepting your friend request for some reason they are not wanting to be your friends so Facebook starts to assume that you might be a spammer you might be a bot they might block you from adding more people to your list so that's why you should always make sure that you have an pending list as small as possible right so I'm not going to say that hey you just send friend request and within a day or two days if someone don't accept your friend request then delete them I'm not saying that but you should obviously send friend request and then wait for a few days maybe a week or so give them time to accept your friend request however if they don't 
accept your friend request then you should obviously delete them you should clean up that list so that you are not on the facebook radar and you are not like letting facebook or you are not giving that notion to facebook that hey i'm a spammer i just sent friend request but unfortunately no one accepted my friend request so they are all in pending right so that's why this feature when you are doing prospecting on facebook and you're adding more and more people to your list you should also make sure that list is not getting just bigger and bigger that pending friend request you should make sure that hey you are prospecting you are adding more people but then more and more people are accepting your friend request or rejecting whatever it is but they are doing something and if they are not doing something like if they are not accepting if they are not rejecting then you should make sure that list is small and optimize and you should make sure that you delete those requests on your side so that you are not on the facebook's radar okay so that's why when you are actually sending friend request and doing your prospecting you should make sure that you have an optimize and small pending request list okay so that's the reason that you should make sure that you delete the pending request the ones that are not being accepted or rejected by others that's why we have implemented this feature so if you are using friender to send friend request and you have a lot of people in your pending request list then now you can actually delete all those pending requests by clicking delete all right now if you want to do it by clicking on this delete all button or if you want friender to do it automatically after a certain number of days then you can also select in your settings you basically click on this and then you click here and then you just select the days like hey i want to cancel send friend request after 7 8 10 whatever days like you want to give this will allow friender to delete all the pending requests after 10 days that means that after 10 days from today this request will be deleted automatically if these people haven't accepted my friend request or haven't rejected my friend request and they are still in pending status this peer request will be deleted automatically choose your settings and forget about it okay so that is one option and the other option is as i said you can delete all your pending requests now like the, but just by clicking on delete all so which will enable friender to just delete all your pending requests which you have right now so if you have like lots of like bunch of requests pending on this friender side if you have been using friender and you have all bunch of friend requests pending in this list then that will help you to clean up the whole list and you that will help you to have a uh, optimized and small list um, on friender side okay now however on a side note i do want to mention this so some of you guys have also access to our other software which is friend connector right and you also have access to friender right so if you have been using friender to send friend request and then if you have used friend connector to delete all your pending friend requests because obviously we just implemented this feature so if you have used this feature which lets you delete all your pending requests so if you have used friend connector okay on the facebook side there is absolutely no request pending but obviously on friender side they are still in the pending request because you have used friender to send those friend requests so just if you want to clean up the list here then just do the delete all and then after this function is done you just basically come here and then sync once and then after the syncing is done you should see that they are cleaned and they you have the cleaned list because you have used friend connector to delete all those requests and so you will have a clean list as well after the sync is done okay so that's just for if you are using friender to send friend requests and you have used friend connector to delete all those requests if you haven't used friend connector to delete those pending requests now you can actually use friender to delete them and then your list should be reflected without you doing the sync. okay so that's it next in the line we have this automated refriending and then uh, these two feature which is don't send friend requests to people i have been friends with before and then don't send friend requests to people i have sent friend request and they reject it so these three will be coming next into friender and until then just keep enjoying 
uh, using Fender and uh, let us know how you like it. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See ya.